channel so today we are going to be trying out a full face of customer top rated makeup products from Nykaa now these are products that you guys seem to love and have a very high rating so I am actually gonna test out these products on my face and we are gonna create a very beautiful look using these so I think Without further ado, let's quickly get started. But before going, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button so that you guys get notified every single time I upload a video. Now let's get started. So the first thing that I'm gonna search is a face moisturizer because I need to prep my skin before I go in with makeup. The first customer top rated moisturizer is the Pond's Super Light Gel, which I totally agree with. It's amazing and I have it with me. This is the Pond's Super Light Gel and I'm gonna apply it. I absolutely love this particular moisturizer. It's so hydrating at the same time. It's very lightweight. Now that I've hydrated my skin and it's feeling soft, supple and plump and it's ready for makeup, we're gonna move on to the next step that is Primer and once I search primer, the first primer that appears here is the Inside Cosmetics 3-in-1 Long Lasting Primer. Unfortunately, I don't have this, but the second primer that appears is the Nykaa's Prep Me Up Face Primer and I am so happy to see this because this is one of my absolute favorite primers. So we are going to use this. As you can see, I have used so much of this. I am going to apply this right in my T-zone. The next thing that we are gonna search is a foundation. Now I have a feeling that it is going to be the Maybelline Fit Me one because everyone seems to love it. The customer top rated and yes, of course, it is the Maybelline's Fit Me foundation, the Madame Paulus one and I have my shade with me. This is the 228 Soft and that's my shade. I love this foundation. It is so easy to use and it has so many shades in it, suits all skin types. So. Of course, this has to be the customer top rated foundation and we are going to use this. This particular foundation has a medium coverage, has a soft matte finish, looks natural, long lasting and blends very, very easily. So I love this foundation for everyday wear. Next up is concealer. Now let's search the customer top rated concealer. And we have the Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer, of course, as the customer top rated one. And I have my two shades, so I am going to use it to conceal as well as to cream contour a little bit because I love cream contouring. Now the next thing that I'm gonna search is a cream blush. I absolutely love a cream blush and I wanna see what you guys are loving. Once I search the customer top rated cream blush, oh my God, we have the Love Earth Multi Pot Lip and Cheek Tint and I've heard so many good things about this particular cream blush. So I recently got two shades in this. I have the Never Look Back shade and the shade Be The Change. So as you can see, I have these two shades and I think I'm gonna use the shade Never Look Back and I haven't tried them out as of yet. So I'm actually excited to see how these work. Wow, you guys, I am in love with the formula, with the pigmentation, with the way it blends. It is such a beautiful looking flush to the cheeks. It looks very, very natural, which I am all about. And I did this sun kissed look that I have been loving recently. And I love the shade. Never look back. Ah, amazing, amazing 
cream blush i'm so happy next we need a setting powder because we need to set this beautiful base that we have going on so once i search setting powder the customer top rated product by you guys is the maybelline fit me press powder as well as the maybelline fit me loose finishing powder i have both of these i think i am going to be using the maybelline fit me matte plus flawless press powder because I've been using that non-stop for my everyday looks. It's a beautiful powder. So I have with me the shade 220 natural beige that I've been using and the way I like to use it is with a puff. I just take it on my puff and press it wherever I need it. I don't set my entire face. I just set under the eyes and my t-zone region. That's all. Those are the places that I need powders these days because I feel like the rest of the face I like to keep it more on the dewy side. I absolutely love this powder because it adds a little bit of coverage under the eyes but it's very lightweight, finely milled and gives me this very blurred looking skin. I love, love this particular press powder. If you're looking for a good compact powder, I think this one is something that you should definitely go ahead and get because it's very lightweight but at the same time such a beautiful powder and you guys any which we seem to love it next we are gonna do brows and i'm a little scared to search this particular category because everyone seems to love different kinds of brow products so i'm actually curious to see what brow products you guys have been loving so once i search eyebrow they're called as eyebrow enhancers on nika so once i sort by customer top rated oh my god we get the Miss Claire Waterproof Eyebrow Pencil. I do not have that one. I'm so sorry, you guys. But I have the next one, which is the Swiss Beauty Eyebrow Pencil. Both are like sister brands. So I'm thinking that both of them are actually going to be of the same quality, the same formula. I think I'm going to use the shade Dark Brown for the look like. And it does come with a brush here to brush your brows very different kind of a brush it's not a spoolie it's just like a brush to brush your brows up so I'm gonna do that Wow, you guys, I am very, very, very impressed by this Swiss Beauty's eyebrow pencil and the shade dark brown is like the perfect match for my brows and it was very easy to work with. It's pigmented. It's not as hard as a lot of different pencils, eyebrow pencils that I use, but it's a little bit more on the creamy side, but I feel like it's still such an amazing amazing product it blended beautifully in the brows it spread really well that's very very important when it comes to an eyebrow pencil and this this little brush did a amazing job of spreading the product i was very skeptical about that but uh, this is so good the next thing that i usually do is set my brows so we are going to search a brow gel and uh, i'm hoping it's the same one that I love so the customer top rated brow gel has to be the elf cosmetics brow wow brow mascara it is the best you guys it's so affordable and so good it just sets your brows in place and they do not move whatsoever but they don't make it feel crunchy or anything of that sort so that's another amazing thing about this particular brow gel now that our brow game is super strong, we are gonna move on to eyeshadow and I am actually excited to see what eyeshadow palettes you seem to love. So once I search it, customer top rated, oh wow, we have the Nykaa's Eyes On Me 10 in 1 eyeshadow palette. I remember when these launched, you guys were super excited about it. So was I and these are amazing eyeshadow palettes for the price. They come in a lot of different shades. I have three shades with me right here. So today we are going to be using the Tinsel Twilight shade because I want to use the green shade that this particular palette has. So we are going to start with this transition shade right here.
need an eyeliner so i'm gonna see which eyeliner pops up oh wow we have the lacme's insta eyeliner this is a oldie i've never tried it out can you believe that i've never ever tried out the lacme insta eyeliner so i am gonna try this out today i just got it so this is what it looks like and it really is just for rupees 130 the brush picks up a lot of product I'm so disappointed in myself that I never used this particular eyeliner because it was actually so precise. It is a little less black than I like but then for everyday use I feel like it's more like a subtle liner and I am actually very impressed by this product so yeah. So the mascara that I found is the Maybelline New York Volume Express hyper curl mascara and i have this with me and i'm gonna try it out i remember trying it out but i feel like it's good but it does not give me as much of volume as i would like it gives me a lot of length a lot of curl but it does not volumize my lashes but it's still a very good mascara I ended up applying lashes so I did go and search on Nykaa which eyelash was the top rated one and what I found were the Nykaa's Lash Talks False Lashes but I don't have those and the second best one were the Swiss Beauty ones and I had purchased these recently and I didn't really give them a try so I thought let's try it out so i tried out the pixie ones what i did was i took one lash i cut it into two and i applied half of it right here and half of it right here and here are my thoughts firstly the lash band is pretty straight it does not have a curve it does not have much of a flexibility so it was a little difficult even if i cut it into half which should be much more easier to apply on the outer lash it is still sitting quite straight i don't know whether you can see it but it's sitting quite straight i want it to have that curl and flutter to the lash band but otherwise they are okay lashes for 129 rupees so yeah that's like an okay product that's my eyes done now we are gonna move to the rest of the face so we are gonna search for a bronzer or a contour product so the customer top rated product that comes in the list on top is the sugars contour they force face palette and i happen to love this one because it's very versatile it comes in two shades firstly firstly this is the vivid uh, victory one it has this beautiful pink shade right here and it has a bronzer shade which is also very good and the highlighter in this is also pretty amazing and the other one is the subtle summit one which is the one that i use a lot because i love the bronzer in it i love the blush in it and i love the highlighter in it so these are really good good contour palettes so you can definitely look at that and they are pretty affordable so i'm gonna be using this particular one so I'm going to use this particular shade to contour and I'm also going to use this blush to apply blush because once you search a blush and the customer top rated blush, the sugars blushes are on top. So this is what I'm going to use for blush as well. setting spray setting spray i am really scared as to what is gonna come here we have the swiss beauty long lasting makeup fixer it has natural aloe it says and i do have it with me i again recently purchased this one because i wanted to see what the hype is all about so we are gonna try this one out i'm very picky when it comes to setting spray stings my eye that spray has a very very strong fragrance to it which i absolutely don't like it reminds me of a salon not a good one that too more like a regular salon and mm, i think 
I'm gonna give that Swiss Beauty setting spray a pass because mm, that's not my cup of tea, you guys. Okay, highlighter. We have the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter, my absolute favorite one. It's an amazing highlighter, you guys. So we are gonna add some glow to the face. Oh, I love, love this highlighter. Just look at that. It's just so stunning. It's such a metallic, wet glow, you know. It's not like a chunky glow and in the sun, it looks stunning we are almost done now let's move on to lips and the first thing that I need is a lip liner so let's see the lip liner that is customer top rated is the Miss Claire's glimmer sticks and I have this with me I in fact have this particular Miss Claire glimmer stick since a very long time and I have the shade I have the shade brown with me which is one of my absolute favorite lip liners honestly it's a little hard but I feel like the shade is just so beautiful and it is a very long lasting lip liner so it is good you guys this particular lip liner is really good so we are gonna use it so I have one thing to say about these lip liners it's that they are not very pigmented you need to go a little back and forth with the formula and lastly we have lipstick and once I search lipstick the lipstick that appears are the Nykaa's so matte mini lipsticks there are a lot of shades in this and I don't have the mini version of it but I have the full size version of it this is what they look like this is the shade coffee mousse which I am gonna be using today now I haven't tried these out before this also I recently purchased because they were so like highly rated on Nykaa and I never tried these out so I was like I need to try them because I am a lipstick person and if I haven't tried it out I'm definitely gonna buy it and try it out so let's see let's put this to a test so this is what the shade looks like they are very pigmented but they are not completely matte they have a little bit of sheen to it it's not like they are ultra matte lipsticks these have a little little bit of glow to it so guys this is the full face of makeup using customer top rated products from Nykaa I hope you guys enjoyed this video there were amazing products in this video but there was one miss which I would totally not recommend I'm talking about the Swiss Beauty's makeup fixer I do not like this product if you guys like it it's your opinion it's what you like I'm no one to say anything to that but I do not like this product so yeah that was the only product in this particular video which was a miss for me but other than that all the other products are beautiful are some of my absolute favorites you guys love it as well so yeah this is it the makeup look is looking amazing everything is looking glam I hope you guys enjoyed watching this particular video if you all have any other suggestions if you guys want to see like worst makeup from Nykaa let me know I am up for that so yeah that's it I'm gonna go now and I'll see you all in my next video very soon and bye